I will be talking about the preliminary organization of AOC in France as process of identification and development of terroir and specifically the complementary geographical denomination system. The organization of houses in France uh, is generally based on a pyramidal organization, such as the Burgundian model. The pyramidal organization is a hierarchical organization between AOC with same time of products, with production areas nested and with limit more and more restricted and condition of production more restrictive up to Grand Cru. For example, in a Burgundy example, example uh, Coteau Bourguignon is a regional AOC, Bourgogne is a sub regional AOC, Alox Corton is a communal AOC, Alox Corton Premier Cru. And the end, the Corton Charlemagne. Identifying a wine with the geographic origin of the grape is an ancient and sharp practice. It is a base of our sea organization. The, the name's notoriety is, uh, an, uh, is uh, an important criteria for recognition, reconnection uh, our sea. Um, but, I say but, European regulation requires the use of a geograph geographical name for wine only for geographical indications. In this context, how to recognize the new house? In France, ENAO use Article 67 of the European Regulation of Rhine. This article gives the possibility to complete the name of an AOC by a smaller geographical name. For example, AOC Touraine. AOC Touraine may be completed by the name Chenonceau for wine that meets the production requirements laid down in the specification. Chenonceau is complementary geographical denomination or CGD. CGD is not official geographical indication. His status is different. For integrate the CGD into the OC's specification, the following principle must be respected. Recognition of link between products and the geographic origin, interlocked production area, similar nature of products, specific demarcation, and condition of production significantly more restrictive. In 2016, several French wine regions had engaged a hierarchical approach using CGD. In Val de Loire, in Auvergne, in Southern France with uh, Côte de Provence et Languedoc. In my communication, I present two examples of establishment of CGD system, AOC Languedoc and AOC Côte de Provence. These regions are enough similar. South of France, an important seaboard, Mediterranean climate, and four CGD recognized in the same period. It is, uh, they are a good holiday destination. Uh, the approach of the recognition of CGD is the same. Firstly, conducting a study, excuse me, uh, a similar approach. Uh, conduct, firstly, conducting a study to identity unit of homogeneous territories. Secondly, identify the group of motivated producers and finally, uh, identify specific production conditions. This slide presents the main characteristic of CGD. If these regions are enough similar, Côte de Provence is specialized in rosé wine. Uh, uh, eight, uh, uh, 
800,000 hectoliters per year. Languedoc is specialized in red wine, 60%. You can observe that the production of CGD have a low proportion, less than 10%, but the price are higher than the regional AOC. The result of this process, from a global point of view, the CGDs are a good valorization of production, partly due to its high sal in a wine estate. For the regions, the are, approaches are important communication tools. When uh, then the result has a very variable of a geographical name to another. For example, in Languedoc, only one CGD was recognized uh, AOC. It is AOC Terra du Larzac. The new AOC is a success with consumers with an average high price, 16, years, uh, 16 uh, euros per bottle. Another CGD, Gouet de Montpellier, after a slow start, has interesting development. This has resulted in an increase in the production volume, but also increases price. In Côte de Provence, the result is the same. The denomination Saint Victoire is a great success and more surely toward recognition in AOC. La Lande, despite small volume, is very well valued and 38% uh, uh, compared to Côte de Provence. And now some notoriety which result in a steady increase of the production area. The other CGD of Côte de Provence are still in a construction phase, phases. In uh, 2016, the Rainmaker organization of AOC Côte de Provence examined continuity of this process. Must continue to develop CGD or take a break. <coughs> After nearly 20 years of implementing a hierarchical organization, results vary. The involvement of the wine producer is a very important factor in the success. The recognition of a new denomination with an existing AOC can only be considered that in a good economic situation of AOC. The pyramidal organization must not overcome the weaknesses of an appellation. It should not lead to a fragmentation that would weaken the existing geographical indication. Today, some regions are contemplating the introduction of a pyramidal organization. Others are seeking to develop a different approach using labels that will highlight their rhyme without using a geographic name. Other worry an excessive development of CGD and AOC on the market. In the process can evolve the coming years. It remains a unifying approach for rainmakers of a territory to help them to reveal their terra. It helps them highlight their product and their territory compared with other products in the market. To finish, yes. A little message. I found in my archive the cover of the first international terroir congress in France in 1996. Terroir congress is 20 years old. It's very good age. Uh, Monday afternoon, Benjamin presents an important event, the newly formed Society of International Terror Experts site. Uh, congratulations and good luck for the future. Thank you for attention. <laughs>